So here is our 3D printing room, which is in the, the back of the room in that far corner. And uh, what I want to show you now is just where, well first anyway, where the thumb drives are located. So in this, back here, this cabinet that's under our 3D printers, in the very top drawer, when you pull this out here, in the very front right hand corner of that drawer is a whole bunch of thumb drives. And you can grab any one you want. There's a whole bunch in here, and that's what you'll take back to your desktop computer, and you'll save your STL files to one of these thumb drives. Okay, so here we are at our um, 3D45 Dremel printers, and we have three of these that are down here that are all the same. We have one that's a little bit different. We'll do a separate video for that. So the ones that are all black on the outside and have our glass build plates in there, that's what you guys are going to be using. So these are our 3D45s. Again, these are our Dremels. And we've talked about thumb drive and saving your STLs to your thumb drive. And so now we're going to talk about actually starting our 3D print. So before you start a 3D print, the first thing you want to do is we're going to open up the door and we need to prep this. This is called our build plate. And we need to prep this before we do any prints, okay? And so the first step is going to be cleaning it. And then we're going to put some glue on it. And then we'll be ready to start our print. So in order to take this out, it has two thumb tabs right here in the front, okay? And so you simply kind of put your, you hold, there's, these handles out here and you push down on the thumb tabs and it releases the front of it. You lift up the front and you pull it forward a little bit and it comes right out. And you can see that film on there. That's what we want to remove and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, rather straightforward process here. We're at our sink over in the wood shop and so you got to bring your build plate over here. Please be careful transporting these and, and carrying them. They are glass, they could break very easily. And you just need a little bit of water. We don't even need soap. So we just turn the water on a little bit. And you can still see my film right there. So we just get it wet, it turns purple. And then we just give it a little bit of, uh, just kind of some hand uh, scrubbing a little. It doesn't take very long. And I've got all the purple off there now. And so then we're just gonna use some paper towel over here, some of this brown stuff, dry it off really good, and then you are good to go uh, to bring it back over to the 3D printer. Okay, we are back over here with our uh, cleaned off build plate. And it's nice and dry. We have all the kind of residual glue off there. And so we're ready to start our, our new print here, okay? And so the first thing we wanna do is back to our drawer over here where we had the thumb drives. And when we open that up, then we can see uh, right next to the thumb drives are a bunch of these glue sticks. And it's called Disappearing Purple Glue. And we got a bunch of them in there, okay? And all you're doing here is we want to apply a very thin layer of glue to where our print's going to be. And so when you sliced your, um, your um, file, your STL file, when you sliced it, that then you, you kind of decided where you wanted it on the build plate. And so mine's gonna be right in the center. And so I don't need much. I'm just printing a small keychain, okay? And so all I do is I take my glue stick and I want a really nice, thin, even layer of where my print is gonna be. Try and get a good angle there. You can kind of see there. Don't need the whole thing covered, just where I'm going to be printing, all right? And then we take it to our 3D printer, back to our 3D printer. Let me spin the camera a little bit. All right, so I'm back at my 3D45 where I took this out. And I just kind of reverse that process of taking this out. So I slide the back in first, okay? And then it's in there nice. And I kind of put my finger underneath the whole thing and push it down until I hear that click where both of those um, thumb levers right there click back in. And now I'm ready to start my print. Okay, so here we are looking at a computer here. And I want to just show you the screen so that you can see. I have a, a file explorer file opened up. And I've got some uh, files saved on there. And what I want you to see is this G-code one that's on there. So if I highlight that, I know it's a little hard to see in this video. But now I know what's saved on my computer, right? And so then uh, you can see over here, I've got my thumb drive and that's what we want to take out. I know I kind of talked about this in the other one. So we'll eject it. Now it's safe to take that out. 
And you don't have to do that. It's not the end of the world, but it's a good practice to do that. And so now I've got my thumb drive and you guys just won't necessarily look like this army one. You know, it could look like all sorts of different options. Um, the ones that are in our drawer, but this is what you want to take back to the 3D printer. Okay, so now we're ready to um, actually do our print here. So I've got my thumb drive and there's a couple things over here on the right hand side. I'm just going to kind of spin this so that you can see it on the camera. First and foremost, there's a switch right here. So if I go ahead and flip that on and I can, while that's kind of booting up, I can also, um, the thumb drive goes in the front. So I turned it on and then right down here next to our touch screen, we've got a thumb drive so I can put my thumb drive in there. And now I'm just waiting for this to boot up before I start my print. And it takes a second. All right, we're back and it just booted up. You can see the lights come on and it's all ready to go now. I've got my thumb drive in there. This is the very first screen that you see. I've got my glue on the bed. It's been cleaned off, new glue, and I'm ready to start this print. So right here, there's some options. The first one, the big green button says build, level, filament, tools. Um, we'll get into filament in a different video. Let's assume that the filament that's in there, which is what's going to be made out of, let's assume that that's exactly what you want, okay? And so then the next step is to go ahead and hit build, and then you'll get some options. And it's got an internal memory, the USB memory, and then it can have a print queue and things like that. You're going to want the middle one, which is the USB. So then I click that, and all of the options that are on your thumb drive will now pop up. And this is why I told you to put Grady at the beginning, or your, or your last name anyway, at the beginning of your file name. It's a lot easier to find. And so it's right there, so I click on that, and it tells me that this print is going to take, uh, right now it's starting to, telling me the temperature, it's preheating. It's gonna take 33 minutes to print this. And as soon as you're ready, just go ahead and hit build. And now it's copying the file from the USB, the thumb drive, to the internal memory of the 3D printer. And now it says auto calibrating and preheating. And this is the same steps that you'll have to go through on your build as well. And so in a second here, I'm gonna... So now we're looking at the auto calibrate here. And it's got this little finger that comes down from the extruder. And what it's doing is touching off on the plate, making sure that it's nice and level. And it's gonna do that all the way around. Okay, so I just finished uh, the auto calibration for the bed leveling. And so now it is in just the preheating phase, okay? And we've got a long way to go. It says that the nozzle temp is at 27 uh, degrees Celsius and it needs to get to 205. And that our platform temp is at 38 degrees and needs to get to 55 degrees Celsius. And so we've got a lot of building to do here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and we'll come back once it gets closer. Okay, we're back here now. Um, I got a little distracted. You can see that it got up to temperature, so it's running at 205. The bed is at 55, right where it's supposed to be. This is telling me how many minutes are left. You can pause or stop. Um, but if you do pause or stop, that might really cause a prob the problem with your, with your print. And so what I wanna show you now is as soon as it gets up to temperature, it automatically starts its um, print. And maybe you can see a little bit better up here, but everything's going pretty smoothly so far. It's working its way around, just kind of extruding that filament onto its platform as it goes. And then when it's done, it'll make a chime. And then uh, we can talk about how to remove your print. Okay, we are back in here. And if I take you over here, and show you what it says. It just says, uh, build complete, clear the build platform. So before we hit any buttons, let's do that. I'll show you how this is gonna work. So we've got, um, go back to our, our cabinet over here. And in this top drawer again, we've got these little scrapers, okay? So then we open our door, just like we were uh, when we cleaned the glue off, use those thumb tabs. And we can remove our build plate. All right, so there's a little name tag.
and we just carefully scrape that off till it pops off nice and clean. And then we've got our name tag done, okay? And then you can just replace this the same way we did before. Click it in. Hit accept now that we're done. And then we are all set. Just kind of clean your stuff up, put it back where you found it, and you're done with your 3D print.